I bought the new Meta Ray-Ban Display AI glasses when they launched last Tuesday. I've been using them every day for about a week now, and in this video, I'll share what it was like to get these glasses on release day, I'll share some of the features that these glasses have, and also what my experience has been like using them over the last week. Overall, the physical form of these glasses and the user experience of navigating the menus, using voice commands, and using the wristband has been really amazing. The use cases are somewhat limited, at least right now, but I believe that will only get better and relatively quickly with new app integrations and software updates. The Meta Ray-Ban display glasses are some of Meta's newest AI smart glasses, and they do happen to be the glasses that I'm wearing right now. The showstopper feature uh, of many cool features of these glasses include a display, a full color display, which shows up in your right eye when you're wearing the glasses. To get these glasses on launch day, I went to Lens Crafters in San Francisco. I arrived at the store about an hour and a half before it opened, and I waited in line with four other folks who were also interested in the Ray-Ban display glasses. One of the guys was wearing a pair of Yeezys, uh, and he had driven in from Oakland. He had to wake up at four o'clock in the morning to get to the store at that time. Uh, and two of the other folks in line were Meta employees. I was the fifth in line, so by 9.30, I had been sized for a wristband and I had my new shiny Meta display glasses and a little bag. So the Meta Ray-Ban display glasses come with a couple of things in addition to just the glasses themselves. They also come with a wristband, which allows you to control the glasses with gestures. And they also come with a pretty nifty charging case. Uh, now the glasses themselves don't actually have that much battery life just internally. I normally have to charge them at least once, if not twice during the day with just normal usage. Uh, but the carrying case actually makes this pretty easy. Um, so the glasses case can hold multiple full charges of the glasses. And when they need to be recharged, you can just take them off your face, put them in the case, and then they'll charge in here. And they charge pretty quickly, and once they're fully charged, you can just take them out and put them back on. And the case itself folds into a very convenient form uh, that makes it super easy to just throw this in your backpack or your purse or whatever uh, and carry it around and not have to worry about your glasses uh, ultimately running out of charge, which they will after a few hours of just normal use. The glasses also come with uh, some charging cables. So the charging cable for the glasses case is just a USB-C to USB-C, pretty standard. Um, the charger for the wristband is a USB-C to a pretty funky magnetic thing that sticks on the back of your wristband. You also get a, uh, a little cloth thing that you can use to clean your glasses. Pretty cool. So I can turn on the display of these glasses by doing a quick double tap uh, with my middle finger and my thumb. Uh, and as you can see, or as you can't see, uh, you literally can't see the display unless you are the person wearing the glasses. Um, and I've had a lot of people try weird angles and trying to look from the back and trying to look from the side, and it's pretty much impossible to see the display unless you're actually wearing them. Um, like, I am fully zoned out right now looking through my Instagram messages. Kind of cool, kind of weird, I don't know. So I'm gonna attempt to show the camera what I am seeing in these things, um, since you can't see the display from the outside. All right, awesome. Uh, so this definitely looks a lot better in real life, uh, but as you can see, um, this is the menu that I see when I have the display pulled up in my eye. Um, and I turn it on by double tapping and turn it off by double tapping. Um, I can scroll around the menu options, and these are all the apps that are currently available uh, on the glasses. Um, and as you can see, they're actually all uh, first-party apps, meaning they're things that have been developed by Meta. And the selection is a little bit limiting right now, and that's probably one of my biggest complaints of these glasses, at least right now, is that the number of apps that you can use is actually very small. 
Um, and these happen to be apps that I don't use very frequently. Um, so I haven't had that many opportunities to use some of the communication features, send messages, read messages. Um, but I'm hoping as more and more integrations come that I will have those opportunities uh, very soon. So this is what you see when you open up a camera. You actually get the framing of your photo as you're taking it, which is super awesome. Um, and I can take a photo of myself by just tapping like that, or I can start a video and now I'm taking a video and I can stop it by tapping again. Hey Meta, what virtual reality headsets does Meta produce? Meta produces the MetaQuest 2 and MetaQuest Pro virtual reality headsets. I am at the Fort Mason Farmer's Market in San Francisco right now, and I am walking around taking a video with my Meta Ray-Bans displays. Just walking around looking at some things. It's pretty bright today, so the transition lenses are coming in handy. And as a matter of fact, I've actually seen a number of pairs of Ray-Bans around. So I feel like I fit in, other than the fact that I am talking to myself right now, which makes me feel like an idiot, but that's okay, I guess. I am now running around the parking lot to see just how much the camera stabilization works. Check out my shadow. How's it going? Pretty cool. Having used these glasses for about a week now, I would say that my experience has been that the form and the user experience of these glasses and the menus has been really great. But I wouldn't say that in terms of usefulness and productivity that these glasses are must-have device in my day-to-day -day life, at least not yet. In terms of form, I would say I personally really enjoy how these look on me. Uh, I feel like they make me look a little bit smarter. Um, I guess you guys can be the judge of that. Um, but I did have, one of my colleagues said that these glasses give Clark Kent vibes, uh, which I'll, I'll take that. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. Um, and while it is true that they are a little bit chonky, they're on the chonky side for uh, glasses, the weight of the glasses has not prevented me from wearing them all day uh, for the entire week. And I guess I will say, um, and you might be able to see, I am getting a little bit of redness on the bridge of my nose, at least today. Um, I do think this is because I went hiking yesterday with these glasses and they were jostling on my face for multiple hours. So that might be a little bit much for these glasses, but sitting at a desk uh, and wearing these hasn't uh, proven to be an issue at all. Um, initially, I did wear the wristband a little bit too tight to the point where it was leaving marks on my skin. Um, but I did find there is a good balance that you can strike between perfect gesture recognition and comfort. Um, so I found a good setting that I can keep it on um, where it's comfortable enough uh, that I can wear it all day and it has good enough gesture recognition uh, that I can use it and use the menus and stuff. In terms of the user experience, uh, navigating the menus and the gestures, um, that experience has been super delightful. Like it is so fun to have a display, uh, just a nice, bright, colorful display in your eye. Um, and I often have to like prevent myself from just randomly opening up the menu and just like swiping around uh, because it's just so delightful to have that show up. I love the haptic that you get whenever you do a gesture. Um, and it makes me wish that there was just more to do on these glasses so that I would have an excuse to open up the menu. So the things that I've found most useful on these glasses so far have been setting reminders for myself uh, by using voice commands. Uh, using the camera, setting timers, and also using the open ear speakers to listen to music and podcasts. And like I mentioned before, yes, it is true that the number of apps that you can use on these glasses is quite limited, at least right now. I think that will only get better with time. And the fact that the hardware is in a good spot, I think is most of the battle, because while it's pretty hard to update hardware once a product is released, Software is a lot easier and a lot quicker to update. So I think the software and the usefulness will increase pretty quickly. Um, and I'm excited to see where that heads. If you have a pair of these glasses, 
Let me know how you've been using them in the comments. And if there's a specific feature or specific use case that you're curious about, let me know and I might be able to make a video about it. I'll be continuing to wear these glasses in my day-to-day -day life, so I'll likely make a video later about what that experience is like and any new use cases that I find. Thanks for watching.